Hello there, my name is Shay Tinubu, and I'm here to inform you that the- When it comes to politicians like Bola Ahmed Tinubu, many people always wonder if the apples fell too far from the tree or too close. Well, it looks like the answer to this multi-million dollar question lies in recent Bloomberg report detailing how Sheyi Tinubu purchased an $11 million mansion in London that the Nigerian government have marked for forfeiture as proceeds of crime. Since the report went viral, the biggest mystery has not only been what Sheyi does for a living but also the connection between the 37-year-old politician's son, Kola Aluku, the person he got the property from and the real reason behind the property purchase. But of course, this comes as no surprise to many. This is not the first time Tinubu's children will be exposed of buying properties worth millions of dollars outside Nigeria, despite having no verifiable source of income of their own. In 2022, investigative journalist David Hondane exposed Remy Tinubu's daughters of copying properties in the US worth millions of dollars. Even though one of them is said to have been disowned by the family over awareness, none of them has come forward to prove how they managed to buy such expensive real estate and debunk speculations that they are beneficiaries of corruption, if not even complicit. Does this mean that in the case of President-elect Bola Ahmed Tinubu, the apple did not fall too far from the tree? Stay tuned as we review how Tinubu's children have been on a real estate buying spree outside Nigeria without a decent job. Hello guys, it's Tiko here for African Glitz. Nigerian president-elect Bola Ahmed Tinubu isn't just another wealthy Nigerian politician. The former governor of Lagos State once bragged that he was richer than Oshun State. Not once, not even twice, but three good times. As of 2015, the Guinness World Book of Record named Tinubu as the biggest landlord in Africa. In 15 years, Tinubu converted the coastal city of Lagos into his personal ocean of wealth. According to reports, he owns the Alpha Beta consultancy firm that charges the Lagos state government 3 billion naira monthly as a consultancy fee. Lagos state government also reportedly remits over 30 billion naira taxpayers' money to Tinubu. The Godfather reportedly also owns over 19 foreign bank accounts, boasting nothing less than $20 million each. Once during an interview with the BBC, Tinubu said he was inspired by Warren Buffett's wealth strategy, which he would eventually follow as an example to become rich. However, for years, nobody has successfully verified Tinubu's wealth beyond drug trafficking and opening the biggest corruption branch in the Lagos state government. Many years later, it looks like the apple didn't fall too far from the tree. The president-elect has six well-read, well-educated children more privileged than 99% of Nigerians. Despite this, reports indicate that they have begun to follow in their father's footstep, basking on illicit wealth. One of the ways they are doing this is by splurging millions of dollars on expensive properties abroad. Habibat Oyinda Molatinubu Back in July 2022, Investigative journalists exposed Bola and Remy Tinubu's youngest daughter, Habibat Oyinda Mola, copying a 2.4 million penthouse in New York property, a Dulex apartment at 255 Hudson Street, New York, NY10013, for $2.4 million and was purchased when Habibat was 22 years and out of university. For those who don't know, Habibat Oinda Mola Tinubu, better known as Oinda, was named after Tinubu's foster mother, Abibatu Mogaji. Unlike her parents, the youngest daughter of the Tinubu household has no interest in the politics of life in Nigeria. Oinda grew up in the UK and is a British citizen. In 2013, the now 31-year-old made the news when she graduated from Berklee School of Music in Boston, Massachusetts, the world's foremost institute for studying jazz and modern American music. After her graduation, Oinda completely rebranded into a gay rights activist and model and seems to have made a name for herself in this space, gracing magazine covers. On the side, Oinda is a professional singer. According to the 31-year-old during an interview, she started singing at the age of three. I started singing at three years old and was always in my sonic bubble. I also loved animation and soundtracks and wanted to transport myself into these different moods I was emphasizing, she revealed. Today, the English singer whose love for music was inspired by the likes of Grace Jones, Diana Ross, Mariah Carey, Missy Elliott, and Janet Jackson now lives in New York. 
Oinda also has two singles, Rush of You and What Still Remains, to her credit. And in 2014, Rolling Stone named her as Lollapalooza's 50 Must See Act in 2014, describing her as R&B's best kept secret. Over the years, the last daughter of Tinubu has performed alongside Dev Highness, Ian Isaiah, Kalila, and Kesley Lu. But while she is doing well in her career, this does not necessarily translate into financial success. So far, no one can explain how Oinda was able to pay in cash for a 2.4 million naira home in New York just fresh out of university. Zainab Abisola Tinubu Oida is not alone. Her elder sister, Zainab Abisola Tinubu, also bought for herself a $2.1 million condo in New York in 2014. The property documents show that Zainab Abisola acquired a Dulux condo at 55 Berry Street, Brooklyn, New York, when she was 25 years and was also paid in cash. However, unlike her sister, Zainab, who also grew up in the UK and attended Berklee School of Music in Boston, has reportedly been battling drug addiction from a young age. As of 2022, a popular gossip page on Instagram, Gist Lover, reported that a 34-year-old is serving jail time at Bronzefield Field Prison in England for assaulting a police officer. She was whisked away to a psychiatric care center after it was discovered that she suffered mental health issues. So far, Zainab has yet to find a job or verifiable work to earn the funds she used to acquire $2.1 million property in New York. Sheyi Tinubu Just when we thought we had seen and heard it all, Bloomberg on May 2, 2023 exposed another of Tinubu's unemployed children for buying an expensive property abroad. Ashiwaju's look-alike son and closest child, Sheyi Tinubu, whose only job and hobby is reportedly a lifelong drug habit, bought a $10.8 million mansion in London in 2017. And guess what? The 37-year-old also paid in cash. In 2015, Kola Aluku, former Forbes celebrated entrepreneur and associate of convicted ex-petroleum minister Desiane Alison Madweke's Muslim, was indicted as a beneficiary of an illegally awarded contract during Desiane's tenure. The fugitive oil tycoon was accused of owing the country an oil trading debt in an alleged $1.6 billion fraud case. Aluko denied all the allegations, insisting that a court judgment acquainting a former business partner also cleared his name. However, in June of 2016, a federal judge in Abuja granted the EFCC request to seize several properties owned by the businessman in Nigeria and overseas, including the mansion in St. John's Wood in London. Well, According to Bloomberg, that forfeiture order was still in effect when Chei bought the house 16 months later. The private property is a three-floor residence in a district favored by American bankers and is equipped with an eight-car driveway, two gardens, electric gates, and a gym. Despite the ruling, the 37-year-old son of Nigeria's president-elect, Bola Tinubu, did a backdoor transaction to acquire this particular mansion in London that the Buhari government, which his father helped bring to power, was trying to seize. According to reports, Sheyi used Aranda Resources, an offshore company he owns, to pay Deutsche Bank about $10.8 million for the property in late 2017, taking over the property from Kola Aluku through a foreclosure. According to the report, Tinubu used the apartment during his time in London and in August 2021, the president-elect received Buhari in his apartment alongside another Nigerian political heavyweight. Does Tinubu and his son work with Kola Aluku? Are they trying to hide something? Are Buhari and Tinubu just playing games, pretending to fight corruption when they are just tricking Nigerians into believing the lie? going after corrupt persons in the previous administration but behind the scenes reacquiring forfeited properties in offshore deals we would never know as there are still no reports or proof showing the incoming president was personally involved in the acquisition however neither president buhari nor bola tinubu and his son sheyi tinubu reacted to the shocking revelation not even kola aluku but Nigerians have a lot to say about the recent scandal to spring up about the Tinubu family again. On Twitter, one user tweeted, Omeka Naya, an apple never falls far from the tree. Hmm, <laughs> DNA. I just can imagine what will happen after May 29. 
God help us. Another road. Lunatics actually took over the country. She eat Nubu Bainkola Luko's mansion. The same mansion Buari's government wanted to seize for corruption is the height. We handed this country to criminals in 2015. One tweeted, On Shei Tinubu and $11 million UK mansion matter, one thing has become very clear. Most of you don't hate corruption or plundering of public funds. You just hate that you are the one benefiting from it. Every legal money was once illegal. What a shame. Another wrote, Shei Tinubu is busy buying $11 million house in London while the unemployable Agbado miscrants are screaming Yoruba Rono on Twitter, begging for giveaways, abusing obedience for attempting to save them, and crying over an Igbo babe driving train in Lagos. Na tonda fire APC! One wrote, Bloomberg published Shei Tinubu's news on all their social media platforms. The humiliation this heroin trafficking family has brought upon is unquantifiable. One tweeted, Shei Tinubu was in Nigerian law school Buari in 2012 and not sure if he passed his bar final. How did he make $11 million to pay for a house at St. John's Wood? Another user wrote, The monthly salary of a state governor is 12 million naira. In 8 years, you will be paid 96 months, totaling 1 billion 152 million naira. Where did Shei Tinubu get the 8.2 billion naira for the UK mansion? Why is Wale Shuenka quiet? Hmm. Tell us guys, what do you think about Tinubu's unemployed children buying expensive properties worth millions of dollars abroad? Is this a case of the apple never falling too far from the tree? Are they just as corrupt as their politician father or just simply beneficiaries of corruption? Share your opinion in the comment section down below. If you found this video informative, please comment, like and share. Also, don't forget to hit the subscribe button to be notified every time I upload a new video so that you don't miss out. Thanks for watching and see you on our next one.